A recent report released from the Minnesota Department of Education shows that student test scores in core subjects falling to alarming levels. Just 45% of students who were tested scored proficient in math. 51% were on track with reading. Education leaders say the results prove the pandemic has had an impact on how our students are learning. Test scores throughout our area varied by district, but all showed areas where students are falling behind. ABC6 News reporter Alex Cotter talked with the new superintendent in Albert Lee, who says that these test scores aren't the only way to district tracks student performance. Alex? James and Laura, the superintendent of Albert Lee Public Schools, says it's important to focus on students at an individual level, especially for districts with students that are still st districts with students that are still learning English. He says tests like the MCAs put those students at a disadvantage. It's a it's an English uh, language test. If students come in that are English as a second language, or students are they're taking a a test in a uh, potential different language, even if they're new to the country. So how are we showing where the students enter? How are we monitoring the progress and the growth? And that is really when you disaggregate the data, you look at the individual student growth. MCA results varied throughout the district, including the four elementary schools. At Halverson Elementary, more than 75% of students met or exceeded state science standards, but not even 42% at Sibley Elementary. Now going over to Lakeview Elementary, 60% of students met or exceeded math standards, but only 39% at Hawthorne. Overall, the district sees room for improvement and staff at Huntington Learning Center says it's seen an increase in, in parents turning to them for tutoring, especially among minorities. We're definitely seeing an increase, uh, you know, in, in that student population. Uh, and I think, you know, that that's very true, I think, in terms of if you look at the, the, the data that a lot of times comes out, it, it, would, it would say that a lot of those ELL kids will suffer even more. High school scores for Albert Lee were the lowest of the district, but the superintendent says not all students take the MCAs, instead focusing on the ACT. So results aren't an accurate depiction of progress. Overall, the district says students are working their way back to pre-pandemic levels, and teachers are prepared this school year to help them get there. But it will take some work. James and Laura.